We have recently been in this area because there are just bodies galore. Yeah. We might have, like, murdered everyone around here on the last one. But, you know, it's all good. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I prefer this to that. Really do. Although, I've kind of gotten used to this now that I say that. I don't even know what I want. I'm... I'm going to roll with this for now. Maybe this is the better choice at night. And then the other one is the better choice during the day when it's, you know, too stinking dark. I've kind of gotten used to this just because I have better field of view overall. I mean, obviously, duh, you can see the whole, the whole screen instead of just this little tiny circle, this tiny uh, whatever that's called, because I can't think my brain is not working. It's a whatever it is, you know what I mean? Not a portrait, uh, I don't know, whatever, it'll, it'll come to me later. Did stop and check a variety of things along the way. You can see we have... Uh, here, let's go ahead and refuel whatever fuel we found there. Found a shotgun short barrel, a random cowboy hat, some variety of things along the way. And that was... Well, some of the stuff is from literally what we just did. And that was just mostly tree stumps here. And we can hold on to... We can scrap those guys. We'll hold on to the rest of these for now. That'll be fine. So we can either scrap them or, I don't know, something, whatever. Let's go in the house this way. My typical entrance point when I have a garage is through the garage. Garage doors are nice and easy to get through, so I kind of prefer that. Guess we can do it like that for a little while. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've kind of gotten used to being able to see everything. Hi. Plus, I think if you use the night vision, maybe... Hi, how you doing? I did not space that at all. Did not space that well at all. But maybe they don't see the night vision, but they do see the... Regular light? I don't know. I don't remember now. Guess we'll have to experiment and find out. Brought a meat stew to chew on. We'll do that in a little while. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Let's just eat that now. That'll cure our infection. I mean, I was really kind of hoping... Actually, you know what? We'll take that because we can also use some bandages. You can see I was checking to find out how long it would... Or uh, if, if we had the recipe, rather. The knowledge, the schematic, the something. Or herbal antibiotics, and that we do not. Made one extra bandage there, but I suspect we'll end up needing it, because who knows. How you doing? I mean, these are some pretty crappy goggles right here. I can't even see that guy. Guess because he's backlit, that's why. How you doing? I'm doing my best to use that bandage right away. I know, I should not have destroyed that barricade holding him back. But someone just can't resist. I'm not going to collect those today. We collected a bunch yesterday and previous days. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I guess we should probably take that one too since we have an extra must the matter. AK-47 schematic. Yes, please, if, if you don't mind. That frame was not placed where I thought it was placed. That was completely useless. Glad that didn't end up being important. I think we're still hidden. I think. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure we are. Surprise. Not quite a face stab, but almost. Nope. Nope. I don't want to be hit. I've already been hit enough today. Don't don't hurt me. Ah, goodness. Ah, sure. Since we're carrying a bunch of cloth already, I guess whatever. Go ahead and take that. It'll be fine. It's very cold out here, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. But our lovely, lovely, lovely weather duster. How you doing? Is good enough to keep us warm, so not a big deal. Oh crap, this would be a horde right here, and I need to reload. We are going to die. Let's get out of this place. Do, 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 do. That was too close. I don't want to die again. I am sick of dying. No, thank you. That really was a wandering horde, I think, because there are a bunch of dudes going that way. Yeah, that was holy crap. I don't even know how I managed to not get hit there. I'm taking full credit on that one, too. That one, that one was all me. 
mean, usually it's not all me. That one, that one was all me. All right, let's see if we can get back inside. Someone forgot to reload the gun, by the way. Someone forgot to put bullets in the magazine so that the firearm could eject death toward the various enemies. I was... Okay. I was actually looking at doing this. I was going to maybe reinforce the area there so that we can... Oh, dang it, I forgot to make bolts, too. All right. Backstab it is. Or front stab. Unfortunate as that may be for this guy. And I guess he's a zombie, so it could be worse. But still. Okay. Someone is massively unprepared today. Recipes, iron crossbow bolts. Make oodles of them. Should probably make a better crossbow, too, come to think about it. Here, let's reload that thing right now. I'm not even going to mess around. You, all the way down there. We are going long distance today. Tell a friend. Call a friend. Tell a friend. I don't remember how that works. That one might be dead. Not having the experience pop up in the bottom right-hand corner often leaves me wondering, is that zombie dead? And I don't watch the bar because I don't think to watch the bar because, you know, I've only been playing Alpha 16 again for several hours, so you would definitely understand that I have not noticed anything whatsoever or had time to make any adjustments. I mean, clearly, <laughs> clearly, not enough time. So there's that. Take some plastics here right quick. I don't know why. Just sounded like a good idea. Already checked that nightstand. We'll check the trash. So I think we have gotten rid of everyone else who's in here. That was... That was a terrifying wandering horde that I was not in the slightest bit prepared for. Clearly. That was awful. Probably just straight up scrap that wrench. I don't care about coffee in this game. I just don't. I'm gonna try and wait until we get down to about 40% on food before we use that meat stew. I don't remember what the actual oh, hello, conversion is of food. Okay, I do want to go down, believe it or not. Really, I really would like that. I don't know if I want to... Um, Nope, can't place that there. Waited too long. I have regrets. Oh, and I definitely regret missing that shot. Okay. I just don't even care anymore. You you need to die. Just making sure. Okay. Holy moly, man. Good news, painkiller. And then let's use a goldenrod tea. And we'll be fine for a little while. Man. I am so off my game, it's not even... I don't even know. I don't know what to say about it. Bye, kitty. Okay. Just waiting a second. Let's see who wants to come running out. Guess no one. Wow, that was not worth it. Came upstairs for four scrap or two scrap. I don't even know how many scrap it is. Not enough to be worth the effort involved. Never mind the reinfection after after being all like, Yay, found honey, no longer infected. That's amazing. Yay, reinfected. Whatever. Not that big a deal. We have, we have antibiotics. I mean, literally, you know, we... We found antibiotics, so... How many auger schematics are we going to find? That's at least the fifth one, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I've kind of lost count. We'll go in this way again. Not necessarily the best way, just my preferred way. Probably leave the flashlight on for most of the morning, if not the afternoon, even. Okay, you are dead. Let's hope for... Well, we'll take salmon. 
hoping for honey, but, you know, it's fine. Probably can stop checking a lot of the trash at this point, but you never know in this game. Find a random schematic in the trash, and you're like, that doesn't make any sense. But I'm glad I checked anyway. It's pretty much how it goes. You know what? I've been surprised too many times today. Sure, we don't really need that or want that, but whatever. Splint? I don't ever need splints. That's just a waste of materials. Okay. Thankfully, no surprises there. That was good. Let's go in quietly-ish. Okay, put that guy back in the way there. Again, I'm tired of being surprised today. That's a decent shotgun stock. That might... That might be better than the one we currently have on our actual usable shotgun. It's pretty exciting if so, because that's a decent little upgrade. Not a big one, but a, you know, as I said, a decent little one. We did this before, so we'll do it again. Get a few extra plastics. At this point, I'm just kind of going quickly, making as much noise as possible. Could be someone in here. Oh, where were you? You must have been in the corner there. Okay. I'm angry. Not at you. I'm angry at me. I got... I got sloppy there. Just making sure. That sounded very close. Zombie stealth is definitely different in this version. I think that, more than anything else, is what's throwing me. Sleepers in the current game operate much, much differently. And uh, it's really easy to essentially anger all of them right away, and then you don't get surprised. And plus, every time you see a closet or something, you're like, oh yeah, there's a sleeper in there. You know what you're getting into. And this, they just happen to be out and about. What? Oh, that is infuriating. Wow. She went down swinging. I mean, props to that zombie. I, I can't even be mad. That was... That was a good play on her part. Just well played, Zom Zom. Well played. Okay. Make sure everyone is dead in here. It's interesting, they were all hiding up here, all the zombies were. Well, and then the one downstairs will take that, because you know what? Scrap that guy, let's go ahead and use one of the painkillers right now. We don't get a lot of health out of these, and I realize I'm just kind of blowing through all of our hydration here. But, eh, uh, every little bit does help. So, it's fine. Really, what I should have done, and I forgot to do, was turn all the aloe vera we have into seeds so that we could plant more of them. And then we can make some more bandages, some more first aid healing type bandages, because those are very helpful. Very, very, very helpful. Here, let's go up here to the passing gas. Well, this is a pretty good size one, too. Look at that. Excellent. That pump is working. That one, too. Oh, yes. We'll take those, please, because we can... We can use five more arrows. Or bolts. This is the large one. I don't remember... I have the current large one in my head, and that's not what this one is. Oh wow, we've reached the maximum gasoline we can carry. You know what that means, right? It means dump all the fuel we can into there so that we can carry some more. Okay. So let's drop off our extra gas there. We cannot carry any more of that stuff. That's A-OK -okay in my book. I don't think we really need to keep that shirt. I don't know why I picked it up. I just kind of did. 
can of salmon here. Let's go ahead and eat the meat stew. We went from 38% to 100%. Yeah, I probably should have waited a little while longer. But I did say I'd try it at 40, so I thought, you know, let's try and somewhat stick to my word here. It's okay. It's okay. We're getting a lot of health out of that, so that was... That's the other thing here. It's like, I don't really mind jumping on that. Even if it is a little early, just because all of that extra health is very much welcome right now. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but... Taking a bit of beating today. I'll go in up high just for the giggles. Might confuse a zombie if it has to jump. The old school garages, I remember these. It used to be that some of them would have something behind the stairs. There you go. Look at that. Pulled that one out of my ear. The old school garages, of course, are a common favorite starting area. Something to build on. You generally have pretty, pretty tough walls. And it's pretty easy to reinforce the garage doors or whatever happens to be. Wow. Mini bark, mini bark, mini bark part, mini bark heights, mini bike parts. There we go. That was harder to say than you really thought it would be, wasn't it? I know. Uh, I was going to scrap that guy, but I guess we've got company. We have, we have friends and someone has no aim. Okay. Man. What I wouldn't give right now for a reaper spear. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out ranger mod. Break down this guy. Break it down. I'm going to circle back to the other side here. Just to make sure. It's kind of what I do when I'm dismantling cars. I like to keep an eye on pretty much all directions so that I know if someone is coming to, to smash my face. I'm thinking we're pretty good right now, so... One last rotation and we'll be fine. Didn't even hear her. Very annoyed. So, back to what I was doing. This is basically the same. This guy does have slightly less electrical resistance, which doesn't even matter. Like, nothing's going to do electrical damage, so it doesn't matter. At least nothing in single player is going to do electrical damage. How about that? I don't plan on attacking a vending machine anytime soon. So that's kind of unnecessary. I uh, will take the alcohol. That's fine. Gotta check everywhere. Those zombies are... Oof. I mean, I guess it's only fair. Stealth is broken in favor of the players, so the zombies should have the same opportunity to sneak up and absolutely wreck the player. It's only fair. Nothing else that gives me an appreciation for what they deal with when they're like, dude... How come I couldn't hear you? You literally are, like, stomping around carrying 600 pounds of equipment. That doesn't make any sense. I know. Welcome to video games. You are zombies, after all. Bye. She made a quick exit there. Lots of feathers. Lots of feathers. We could find that schematic for the compound bows, I would be much happier. And I would invest heavily. Oh man, I do want this stuff. Um, I don't know where our stuff compares. The chassis is not going to matter. We're just going to get rid of this guy. Here, we'll drink that water. And I do want the meat, and I do want the potatoes, so we'll take that too. 
Meat and potatoes, meat and taters. Sure. One of these days, it's something I've thought about, but I've never really bothered to try. One of these days, I'm going to try and do a vegetarian playthrough. <laughs> or maybe even a vegan playthrough. Why? I don't know. It just seems like it'd be kind of fun. Silly, nonsensical, but fun. Vegan would be a lot harder because you wouldn't be able to use leather. Or honey. I mean, that would be hard in this game. I don't, I don't know that I'm up for that level of challenge, but... I think vegetarian is doable. It would be really hard in the early days, though. Most of the food you find, you just kind of go whatever, and usually the early food sources shoot whatever rabbit is running by and hope you find more. That'd be challenging. Would definitely uh, make things a little more interesting than they otherwise are. I don't know if it'd make them interesting in a good way, but... Interesting. The word I'm choosing to use. Here, let's break down this guy. I will definitely say that Alpha 20 does a much better job of communicating to me that a zombie is about to open up the back of my skull. I appreciate that. I really do. I don't even have room to carry dupes. That's kind of funny. I think just for the giggles, because we really haven't been doing it much yet. Oh, hunting knife book, we already have you. I was getting hopeful it was something of real value, but it's not. Just for the giggles, I'll go ahead and open this up. It's going to take about 50 swings, but actually like 51, whatever. Yeah, that wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but wasn't terrible. Oh, that's so useless. Break that down for wood and whatever. It's funny, the shotgun short barrel that we have that I told you I found in a, a tree stump while driving out this way. I really just need to scrap that because I don't even like the, the sawed off shotgun in this game. Really don't. I prefer the, the straight up shoddy. Oh, come on, man. This is one of those days where I am just doing my best to die. Oh, wow, that's a very nice suit jacket. I would kind of hate to leave that behind. Tell you what. You take those bandages, I'll take that jacket. I just, you know, everyone needs a nice suit. Never hurts to have, so... Just figure, why not? Take all this stuff because at some point we'll be able to turn it into gasoline or use it for something else, I don't know. Maybe not, maybe we never will, whatever. We have done good work today. We're probably at the point where we need to go back to base. I guess I need to go check out the mini bike here and see what our storage looks like. Yeah, it's pretty much full. It's not entirely full, but it is pretty close to being full. I guess we could probably get a little bit more stuff into it in this, uh, into our inventory, but not much. Yeah, I think I'll just turn around and Head back to the base, call it good. Really think we need to spend some time doing a little more driving around. There's definitely some more stuff over there, so maybe what we'll do is we'll set the waypoint to be a little further out to the east so that the next time around, on day 10, maybe we'll even be back here in time for the airdrop, we can head out to the east and if... or west. West. Further to the west, I know my directions. And if not... Well, whatever. I'm sure we'll come up with something interesting to do because there is always something to be done in this game. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.